How can you tell if the internals of your engine are healthy? That is why we do a compression test. In basic terms, a four-stroke engine goes suck, squeeze, bang, blow. That means it draws in a mixture of air and fuel, which it then compresses as the piston rises within the cylinder. Then there is the ignition, which burns that mixture, forcing the piston down, creating power. And then finally, the piston goes back up, pushing the exhaust gases out of the engine for the whole cycle to start again. Now for that to work well, you need a good seal on the valves and between the piston and the cylinder wall. And the easy way to test that is with a compression test. This simply puts a pressure gauge in place of a spark plug and then uses the peak pressure observed as you crank over the engine as an indication of the health of that cylinder. To perform the test, I need to gain access to the spark plug, which for me means removing the charge cooler. You want the engine slightly warm, so I've idled it for a couple of minutes, but don't get it too hot either. Then, the plugs and leads can come off. You don't want to be injecting fuel into the cylinders whilst you do the test, so it's important to disable the fuel system. I choose to remove the circuit opening relay which disables the fuel pump. You also need to lodge the throttle open, which I do with a simple socket. Once that's done, remove all the spark plugs, being careful not to drop anything into the open holes. Because you're removing all the spark plugs, you may find your regular service is an ideal time to perform a compression test. Now you can screw the tester into the spark plug hole for cylinder one. With no spark or fuel going into the engine, it's obviously not going to fire, so the aim is to crank the engine on the starter motor for about six turns. Note the pressure recorded on the gauge and then release the stored pressure by pressing the button on the side. Having done that, move on to the next cylinder. When you're ready to test, aim for the same number of turns as previously. Continue working down all your cylinders, noting down a pressure for each one. The expected reading on this third generation 3S GTE engine is 164 PSI or more with a minimum set at 128 PSI. But the spread between all four, so the maximum variance from one cylinder to another, is supposed to be a maximum of 14 PSI. A low reading on a cylinder can be caused by worn piston rings, damage to valves, a worn cylinder bore, or even head gasket problems. On this engine, the most common problem is a piston ring. If you add a tiny bit of oil and do a retest of that cylinder and the reading comes back up to normal, that would generally suggest that the piston ring is the problem. So my results going from cylinder one are 181 PSI, 171 PSI, 176 PSI and 164 PSI. So each cylinder individually is well within spec. However, the total variant is greater than that 14 PSI, which means the entire engine is theoretically out of spec. Now, if I got this result as part of normal maintenance and I wasn't experiencing any other issues with the engine, then I think I'd just ignore the spread and be perfectly happy with that result. But seeing as the engine is coming out of the car and going into another, well, would you knowingly put an out of spec engine into a new chassis? I think this just adds to the voice inside of me saying, put some forged pistons in it. If you want to keep following my build, click Click up here, click down here if you want to watch another one of my videos. Thank you very much for watching and join me again next time on Geek of the Road.